We all get what we deserve. No more, no less. Tough times. Already hit a wall. Knocked your scrawny ass all the way back here. It's insane that she's sending you out on foot all on your own. Your skepticism's duly noted. Huh. We're getting nowhere. I should be out there fighting. Not standing watch over a place nobody comes to uninvited. Damn it. I think the circumstances justify heightened security around here. But if you don't, go take it up with the headmistress, not me. Ugh. What? Wondered why Hecate took off all of a sudden. It was just to get in your way. Send you crying home. Guess she doesn't want you to succeed. She expects me to be prepared for whatever lies ahead. You're such a pushover sometimes. Another failed attempt. About ready to give in? You don't have the fire. This isn't personal enough for you. Isn't personal? You don't see my mother around either, do you, Nem? Nor my father. Nor my brother. Kronos took them all. I lost more than my mother, too. And I knew mine. What's yours to you? All you ever did was fall out of her womb. Silence. What you said to me before, about my mother, that was very cruel. Hmm. Fair enough. Can't kill each other here, but we can use our words. If we were fighting for real, I wouldn't have held back either. I figured not. I'm ready. Oh, daughters of night, who can see all tomorrows, please help me avenge both our family's sorrows. No effect. Nothing. They didn't listen. Huh. They're not going to help you, you know. The fates, I mean. They don't take pity on whoever asks. If anything, you'll make things even worse. Maybe you just don't give your sisters enough credit. If they once aided my brother, then there has to be a chance they'll aid us. They have a stake in this, too. What, you mean their family? They couldn't care less. Too busy messing with everybody's lives, making it look like an accident. You mustn't speak of them that way. Princess. Can't believe sucking up to the fates actually worked. That big scroll over there. That's really from them. Personally delivered by Lord Moros, no less. He seemed a little pressed for time, so we didn't get to talk much. Are the two of you close? We're children of Nyx. None of us are close. But we crossed paths. When certain mortals get what they deserve, it involves us both. I can only imagine. About time. Let me guess. The fates have nothing but a bunch of busy work laid out for you. No grand revelations, just odd jobs. I know better than to question their designs. A minor prophecy fulfilled may result in a greater one coming to pass. Just keep telling yourself that. Nemesis has been in an especially foul mood of late. Anything I should know about? I was going to ask you the same. She sought my task, but that's nothing new. Though she's been clashing with Headmistress more and more. Ah, shame it's been this way. Personally, I'd rather have divine retribution with me than against. I reckon you can't just smooth things over with her, can you? I have my doubts. What now? Next time you got something to say about me, you come say it to my face. No, you witches would much rather sneak around, though. What are you even talking about? I think you're being accusatory and abrasive. There, I said that to your face. Odysseus tried giving me one of his talks, telling me you didn't go complaining to him. He was concerned with how we're getting on. You're not exactly being subtle, and he's quite perceptive in case you hadn't noticed. Be quiet. Yeah? 
Moonlight guide us and all. Come on. How many attempts was that now? Good thing our Titan friend's too busy with your topside relatives to pay you much attention. Sorry, not been keeping count. I'll get there when I get there. Though surely you would have vanquished the Titan Lord on your very first go. Guess we'll never know, will we? You are required at your post, Nemesis. Or shall you take to openly defying me just as your sister does? I shudder to think what your mother would say of you two. You have no right to invoke my mother. None of this would be happening had you fulfilled your role as handmaiden and warned her an attack was imminent. Best watch your mouth or I shall seal it shut. You may continue dwelling on a past you were not witness to, or you may do what is expected of Nyx's daughters. Or whatever Eris is up to. Your choice. <sighs> Princess. So just how much trouble are you in for mouthing off to headmistress, Nem? That was utterly disrespectful. Even for you. Uh, well, looks like I've got a lot more guard duty ahead of me. But it was worth it. Help balance out you sucking up to her all the time. It figures you have no ability to distinguish between basic courtesy and what you call sucking up. You're just a tool to her, you know. Come here. I always thought if I could just train harder than you, she'd reconsider and give the task to me. Work my ass off. But it didn't matter. I worked too. And Headmistress always made herself clear about our roles. You can't change your birthright, nor can I change mine. It isn't fair. Good morrow. Salutations. This task, why does it fall solely to me, headmistress? Because Nemesis, she... She is a burden. Had I not sworn to Nyx that I would watch over her children, I'd have cast her out for insubordination long ago. She's frustrated you haven't given her a chance. Her strength far surpasses mine, and she's trained at least as hard. I've seen it. Why defend her thus, Malenoe? Her attitude speaks far louder than she. I shall entrust nothing of import to one such as that. <laughs> what is it? Death to Kronos. Get lost. Nemesis, for all the time you used to spend on the surface, Surely there was something there that made it worth your while. Oh, there was. Mortals like to reach beyond their means, thinking they're just like us. I'd sniff them out and put them back in their place. Put them back in their place? By punishing them in some inventive fashion, I suppose? That's right. We all should get what we deserve. No more, no less. But don't mortals already have ways to ensure justice is served, like my father did? <laughs> sure they do. Death to Kronos. Hey, you miss being up there, don't you? Among the mortals and all that? You know, mortals have a word for deliberate cruelty or callous negligence. They call it evil. I could always catch wind of it. I'd go to the source. And whoever it was, I'd make them pay. But now you're stuck here, and the evil goes unchecked. A lot of it, I'm sure. Again, huh? Been hunched over that cauldron so much, at least your craft is finally doing something around here. So much toiling with no results. Our craft is typically about the self, and such results tend not to be immediate. Though, I appreciate you noticing. Yeah, well... Odysseus out checking... Death to Kronos? Whatever. Was it always like this? Between you and Headmistress? 
I used to think it was me you hated most of all. You've always been naive, princess. As for Hecate, I liked her better before she decided this right here was the best use of my talents. She made that decision long ago. So you're going to resent her forever? Or are you going to do something about it? I am doing something about it. I'm honoring my vow to Mother Nyx. Else I'd be long gone. Much to your disappointment, I'm sure. I would be very disappointed, yes. Up and about. May Moonlight guide us. Keep practicing. You don't deserve this. Any of this. It's unfair. But you're stuck with it. So the only question is, what are you going to do about it now? There's no such question in my mind. And what do you even know about fairness or who deserves what? <laughs> you almost had me going there. Tough times. You passed her a little test that time. Must have felt so good beating her ass to the ground. Don't get to spar with her, so I can only imagine. We're not just sparring. You don't know our craft. I know I could take her. Again, huh? Nem, you care so much for mortal justice. Where's your passion for ours? Kronos took everything from us. You said we all should get what we deserve, right? <laughs> well, that's the thing. If you knew anything about mortals, they had it better once, when Kronos ruled. Called it the Golden Age. How splendid that must have been for them. If only Kronos could have been so generous with his sons and foster children. You think him being somewhat nice to some mortals makes up for what he did? No. Look, what if... What if this is what we deserve? We deserve better than this, Nemesis. Living in shadows, denied our families. Don't you want justice for them? <laughs> Fine. Well, I'm saying that the possibility exists, yes. Eternal vigilance is near impossible. Enemies have always exploited the lack thereof. I would tell you of the old wooden horse trick. The old wooden horse trick, yeah. Surely your reputation as the great tactician hinges on more than this one tale? Ah, but classics ought to be retold. Though, if you'd rather, I have far more tales of trickery and valor. Take the Cave of the Cyclops. Not Cave of the Cyclops. Moonlight guide you. Hmm. Look at him all peaceful. Not a care in the world. Could you imagine? He's beautiful. He has this wisdom about him. Even asleep. Nyx must have taught you all so much. Not really. Hypno served in the House of Hades under Mother's care. Ran into him now and then, though. He ever wakes up? Hope I can be there when you finally meet. Thank you, Nem. All clear. Moonlight guide you. <sighs> Been talking to Hypnos again? He can't hear you, you know. Kind of what happens when somebody's fast asleep. Sleep is not as simple as you make it out to be. I think he can sense my words and intentions. Sensing words and intentions, yeah. Sounds exactly like the Hypnos I knew. Not a care in the world. Ugh. Never thought I'd see Moros here of all places. But then again, it only makes sense Doom would come to the crossroads sooner or later. You make it sound like it's a bad thing. All Nyx's kin are welcome here. Headmistress gave her word. Whatever. Guess I better go say hello.
And there she is. Shouldn't you be halfway down to Tartarus by now? Princess, thank the fates you're well. Nemesis and I, we were just catching up. She's told me a lot about you. Oh, great. I can imagine. Though, you never told me about your brother, Nemesis. Got a lot of brothers. What's to tell? Never a good sign when he shows up. I'm afraid she's right. Death to Kronos. Fine. It's my job, Moros. Simple as that. No one else wants to do it. No one else can do it. But the retribution you see fit to dole out, how can you be so certain that decisions about such consequences are yours alone? The fates have quite a bit of say in it as well. What, you think I'm just another mindless puppet our sisters are pushing around? Come on. Their prophecies are vague because they don't really know what's coming. Even if that were true, the burden of choosing who deserves what, I wouldn't want to bear it on my own. Otherwise, my judgment would have to be perfect at all times. Yet we are fallible beings. Speak for yourself. I was. Still at it? Nemesis, maybe we could start again. Here, I got you something. Don't need your charity, Princess, or temptations while I'm on duty or off. You're doing this because you want something from me anyway, so here, knock yourself out. Thank you, Nem. Ah. What is that foul artifact you bear? Ah, an eye of nemesis. Warding against those harboring ill will. The sheer irony of it coming from her. I mean nothing untoward, Headmistress. The eye is indiscriminate in its effect and makes me match more strongly with my strongest foes. Tis a wonder this eye does not cause the two of us to combust on the spot. Then take your vengeance, if you can. You trying to get me in trouble with the headmistress or something? Why don't you take your bottle before I smash it and get your scrawny ass out of here? I wasn't trying to get you in trouble, Nem. I was just... <sighs> you know what? Forget it. Salutations. Nice try. That nectar you've been passing around? Don't see why you bother. Not everybody deserves it, anyhow. Deserves? And I suppose you think you're fit to be the judge of that? Yes. Who do you think I am? If everybody just magically got what they deserved, I'd have no reason to exist. That's awful. That's life. Oh, for me. Can't find another way to test one of your poisons, I guess. You witches aren't as subtle as you think. That's exactly what someone who is unknowingly poisoned by a witch might say, you know. Ugh. Death to Kronos. Death to Kronos? Ugh. The hell are you doing talking to me? You get your scrawny ass back out there and get that titan. What are you waiting for? Rude. 